Hello, I'm Brent, and I'm going to be installing a microwave range hood. These all work very similar. There's usually two screws that go in the top on each side that go near the front. Big washers on there, so you can get away with a half inch hole usually. And if you're off a little bit, it's not the end of the world. The venting either goes up top and out. If you start cutting, so you need to cut a hole in the back here. You can switch the motor so that it goes out the back or it recirculates so then you wouldn't need to cut this in. So you want to leave a little bit of room in the top of your cabinet to fit this in so you can fit your um, ductwork on and get it taped up really nice. You got to drill like a two inch hole for your plug to go up through. And then a bar goes in the back. I like to tile the whole back area otherwise you got to try and build this out. The other problem is if when this microwave dies I don't want to redo the tile. Um, so it might be just a little bit higher, a little bit lower. You don't have to worry about shimming stuff. It's not fun drilling through tile, but usually backsplash tile is pretty soft. And I have a few extras, so if I do put a regular hood or something in, it's not a big deal to replace a couple tiles with holes in it. Eight and a half, plus I have my tile up here. I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger. They're both the same, but there's some... Oh yeah, there's a bunch of build out on the back. You want to be careful, a lot of these units, um, they'll be in different spots depending on the configuration. This one's pretty close. Got a bunch of marks up there. This is my big one, and then my smaller one, my smaller one, and then this is going to be my vent hole cutout. And I've got a, the back of the cabinet's going to be there, so I've got to be careful of that. Drill up so I can mark my holes. A little bigger. I want to get my jigsaw blade in there. Half inch hole for my bolt hole. If I can get it from the top. Quite. And I'm going to have to go from the bottom, but go very slowly. Back plate goes in, just clips under, kind of get it in place and measure it out. 15 and a half. I've already found my studs. You can see all these little holes and I marked my studs. I got one here and one here. Doesn't quite look like I'm going to hit that hole, so I'm going to drill another hole right, right there. This is pretty thin metal, so it's not that big of a deal. You could put another hole and do a toggle bolt there. Really walk is these nice tile bits. They're a little expensive but they last a long time. If you keep them cool when you're drilling with a little moisture, they'll last a while. Start on kind of an angle and get it started. I'm just going to use a couple wood screws. These usually come with big lag bolts. The problem with that is you could hit some plumbing or you could hit some electrical. There's really not much weight on this. It's just most of the weight is down. This is just to keep it against the wall. So put these big lag bolts in and this is just flimsy metal anyways. So you want to make sure you get your screws and washers up ready to go. Get your driver. Now the tricky part is doing this by yourself. Set it on the stove, get the cord through get the back in and kind of work it up. And once you get it on this back part, you can hold it up, it's not too heavy, and then get up on your ladder and get the rest of it in. See. That's how you get the thing hung up there. So much for watching. Check back for the ductwork.